Lieutenant Noah Brown, uh, spelled N-O-A-H-B-R-O-W-N. So what we're doing today is we're getting our repetitions in, getting practice in as we work towards uh, the evolving threats of the future. So how we're going to move faster, be faster with towed artillery because while we do have high Mars out there that are self-propelled uh, and move, uh, we still need to bring those capabilities to the battlefield uh, as towed artillery. So we're getting those reps in and practice, seeing what we can improve and get better. We provide the ability to get long range fires precisely so we can reach out and touch somebody you know, up to 28 kilometers away uh, with precision and speed. So when they get going, they can pump out four, eight rounds a minute and just keep it going. So not a lot of other places can do that. Yeah, so, so far, so we, you know, we take into effect what weather is going to be like both here on the way to the target and at the target. Uh, the math for calculating how the propellant is going to impact how far the round shoots, uh, how the round will travel through the air with drag, um, and then just all the different steps that it takes to actually in place and make sure that when we shoot, we're shooting accurately and on target. So, like when a mission comes down from the FDC. Uh, they'll pass it to the gun line either through digital communications or voice. The guns will receive that data and then once they receive it and give good readbacks to the FTC, uh, they begin to lay on that data so they traverse their hand wheels to get lined up on the deflection and then their quadrant for the elevation. Then they verify their shell and their um, fuse, make sure that's proper. They load it in, then they put the propellant in, close it get aligned, double check that they're every, everything matches up number wise, and then if there's a special instruction they follow that or they fire when ready. Or like the Army has self propelled so it's all contained in a vehicle so it's able to move itself uh, which gives it the capability to be like quicker in place, set up, they don't have to unhook it from a truck and make sure they drop spades, dig them in. Uh, so that, that's a one step towards the future because that just cuts out a lot of time uh, into the process, makes us faster and more lethal. So we're focused a lot on maneuver warfare. Uh, we have the ability with our artillery, we fix the enemy in place so maneuver can close. You know, they'll get within 750 meters of the enemy uh, until, and then we'll stop and then they're right there on top of them. Uh, and then not just with cannons, but with high Mars, we're bringing the capability to really reach out, you know, 300 plus kilometers, uh, impact very strategic targets. And that allows us to, you know, progress whether it's through a campaign or maneuvering, taking an island, something like that. Uh, taking an island, something like that. Um, in terms of making the Marine Corps the best it can be, and that, that comes from a lot of the Marines out here, the Marines I'm in charge of that I have. You know, you see all the different walks of life they come from, but they're all in here united and you know, they start really not knowing anything, but seeing how their NCOs take care of them and mentor them. Uh, you know that wherever these people go, whether it's on a leadership bill at Next or to an SDA somewhere, that they're going to end up making that same impact.